And as we mark this Memorial Day, we're honoring the lives lost to keep our freedom, keep and defend it. But we also want to recognize those who have come back from war, still dealing with the impact of combat. As many of you know, many soldiers suffering from poor mental health, some tragically even taking their own lives. One veteran now shining a light on this very serious issue, hoping to curb suicide rates among soldiers returning. That's John Burns, a retired staff sergeant from the Army National Guard, also serving in the Marines, now Deputy Director of Concerned Veterans for America. Uh, John, thank you so much for what you do for, for our veterans here, and clearly there is a need for it. You recently wrote an op-ed in the Air Times titled Memorial Day is for those we've lost on the battlefield and at home. Uh, talk to us about that. We see the headline here. Talk to us about the significance of this day, sir. Well, Memorial Day is, you know, it's a solemn ceremony in American history, going back to the Civil War and perhaps even before, where we honor those who, who died sacrificing their lives for our freedom. And we were just thinking about how to honor folks this year at Concerned Veterans for America, CV4A.org. And it struck us, you know, that we've been talking for the past couple of years about how the current war, the global war on terror that just wrapped up, that we've had more veterans and military members die of suicide in this era than we have in actual combat, right? 30,000 versus 7,000, to give some rough numbers. More than four times as many have died of their own hand. Uh, and it's just a signature, you know, wound of this war is, is the mental health issue. But but the, a lot of those deaths were preventable. Uh, it, you know, it is it is a signature wound of this war, but we need to think in terms of this war of honoring those not just who died overseas, but those who died of, of mental, emotional, spiritual wounds overseas later and and what we could have as a nation done to maybe prevent a lot of those deaths. Absolutely. It, it's heartbreaking to think about the numbers and, of course, the lives behind it, those impacted uh, by suicide and also, of course, the family members who lost a loved one who have served. Uh, and, John, since we have the time now, if you could just walk us through what your organization is doing to, again, assist those who might be showing signs uh, of really struggling with their mental health during this time. Well, you know, Concerned Veterans for America, we focus on on policy advocacy and trying to trying to fix the government so that the, the Department of Veterans Affairs picks up its piece here. We have a sister organization that does actually do some mental health uh, training and awareness to, to help folks around their veterans recognize th those signs. So we work on both sides. We really think that the, the VA can do a much better job if it would just follow the law that was passed in 2018, the VA Mission Act, and it would start referring these veterans who need mental health out to the community, out to community care. I hear all the time from both private and nonprofit mental health providers that they're hungry for VA mental health referrals and they're just not getting them, even though the VA has a, has a serious backlog of mental health, uh, you know, mental health cases that it needs to, to treat. Uh, really quickly, and final question for you here as we take a look here at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. You've seen these, uh, these ceremonies, observances each and every year. I believe you served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, I, I, I believe you've lost several of your fellow service members. Talk to me about watching this Memorial Day, the observance each and every year. And what goes through your mind for the fallen? and the families? It's just, it's it's horrible. I mean, I lost folks overseas. I lost folks since we've been home to suicide. It's been about a decade since I actually watched the, the ceremony live, uh, but it's something that's awesome. And it, it just, it, I hope every American takes the time today to watch this ceremony either live or, or, you know, recorded. And just remember today, Memorial Day is about more than just backyard barbecues. It's about those who served their country, those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Uh, and some of those folks, you know, have died since they've come home. It didn't just happen overseas. Yeah, it's such an important reminder. We thank you for taking the time today to bring it to light. John Burns, thank you for your service and thanks for joining us.